What's up you guys, Steven here for Off The Shelf Movie Night to talk to you about physical media, about Blu-rays and 4Ks and DVDs, why we like to buy and own our movies and TV shows, have them in a beautiful library and watch them when and how we want to. If you're a physical media collector, want to be a physical media collector, or you just like movies, you're in the right spot. Join the conversation, give me a follow, hit that notification bell so you know what's up, and uh, if you like what you see, a like is very helpful to get the word out about this channel. Hope everyone's having a great holiday season. Mine is a little chaotic. I got a lot of things going on, but I'm still doing videos. I got a brief video for you today, but it's a kind of uh, a weird, funny video. I have one uh, pickup that I made just today that I want to show you, and then one thing that was sent to me, and they they, they both uh, they have one thing in common. Let's put it that way. Anyway, let's get into it. If you haven't seen my... Black Friday videos over on TikTok. Go over there and check them out. That is OTS Movies on TikTok. If you want to see my Pushing 100 updates, I'm going to do another Pushing 100 update for you guys. I know I'm still promoting, but I just thought of this. Uh, Pushing 100 is my project where I'm seeing 100 movies, new release movies, in theater in one year. I've been posting at least star reviews, but I'm usually writing some stuff too. For most things, I'm writing some stuff. Um, so I've, when you go there... I'm only putting on letterbox things I've seen in theater. So it's a good way to kind of see what's happening and to see those reviews. Let me know what you think. Anyway, the funny thing that these two movies have in common is it's, it's a funny coincidence. I bought one and then one came sent to me from the distributor for review. They both came out in the same year. They both came out in the same year. That couldn't be more different though. I'm gonna show them to you right now. The one that was sent to me today was from a company called Visual Vengeance, and they always send a sticker, which is cool. I like this retro 80s artwork, and then we have, let me make sure I can show these to you, um, because sometimes they're a little edgy. Yeah, that one might be a little too edgy. Uh, these are fine, though. They sent me this movie, Heartland of Darkness. I'll show you these stickers in a second. Let me show you the box first. Heartland of Darkness. This movie's also known as Blood Church. So if you don't know Visual Vengeance, they are an offshoot of Wild Eye. I'm not really, I don't know the ins and outs of why they exist, why these aren't just Wild Eye releases, but they've been doing a lot of these, well, a lot. I think this is maybe their fifth or sixth release but, uh, of the these 80s, early 90s shot on video films. These seem like, like... I would expect this to be on uh, Vinegar Syndrome, because Vinegar Syndrome does a lot of shot on video stuff too. But this one's special. I'm not usually a super big fan of these movies. This one's special though. I'm excited for this one for one reason and one reason only. Now I'll show you the stickers. Is This one features my girl, Linnea Quigley. You can't love 80s horror and not love Linnea Quigley. She's not the best actress in the world, but she's super cute, super charismatic. I always loved Linnea Quigley. So, outside of Linnea Quigley, though, everybody in this movie from 1992, as I said, is just people in this small town. This was actually a college film. It was started as a thesis project for, for college by the director, and it took years and a lot of, a lot of trials and struggles to get the movie finally finished but it's pretty amazing that he was his college project featured Linnea Quigley so here's the yeah we can we could I guess we can show this I guess we can let me just do that um, there's the inside and uh, that's even different artwork than what's on the slip and that's uh, that's collector attention to detail right there and I love that about this company inside there's a little Heartland of Darkness. This looks like a little like towel like you'd use on lenses or glasses or whatever. I think that I, I'm not sure what this is to be. I think that's what it is though. So there's that. And they always in their releases provide uh, a little sheet of uh, retro VHS style stickers, which is a cool little thing. I could see that being a, a cool like collector thing. You know, to, to pile up all those. Also inside, there's a little... I don't know that I would call it um, a booklet. It's more like a insert. Yeah, it's only... It's a fold-out... Uh, I guess I can show this. Yeah, there's... 
Uh, mm, okay, never mind. So there, it's a fold out. It's a tri-fold. Can I show the back? There's a lot of gore in this. Yeah, I don't know. I'm not going to show that. I think actually what's on the back of this is kind of a spoiler. But it's got just three pages. It's a little essay in here about the the making of the movie. And also something I'm excited for. I, might, I don't put up a lot of things that I get because I just don't have a ton of posters in this space. But this one I might have to find a place for because, again... It's a girl, Linnea Quigley. Just looks like a screen cap from the movie. And, you know, whether I'm a f end up being a fan of this movie or not, it's still just a cool, unique, something different with her than the typical stuff. There's some really interesting stuff coming out <laughs> featuring Linnea Quigley uh, coming, releasing soon. There's going to be a variety of, of offbeat stuff. That's a whole other video we can do. Um, anyway, don't know anything about this movie other than it's another shot on video affair, and it stars on that quickly. That's literally it. What I am interested in and excited for, though, is there's a pretty decent selection of bonus features here. There's a 40-minute documentary about the making of the movie, and then weirdly, I don't know, it's a weird decision, but there's a trailer for the making of documentary. I don't, I don't know that, honestly, I would have bothered with that, but, the, but that's on here. Now... Sadly, in the the uh, making of documentary, Linnea Quigley does not participate in that. While she's not in the, the the documentary, there are some of the actors who were just sort of local people in the town. The director is in it, talking about the movie. So I'm excited to watch that. I love documentaries about movie making. But she is, Linnea Quigley does do a new, brand new, I think it's from 2019, maybe 2020. Could be even newer than that. It's very new interview about the movie. Now, it's only five minutes, but hey, at least she took the time to talk about this movie. And there is a 20-minute, uh, I think it's a newscast interview with her from back during the making of the film. So we do get some Linnea Quigley in the behind-the-scenes stuff. There, and there's a few other things, too. This is actually pretty stacked, bonus feature-wise, for this type of release. I'm really excited for that. And I'm really appreciating that from visual violence, that they are really trying to put some work into it. And they also always give us a cool slipcover in their releases. So, oh, and I think the inside art, let me check that really quick. I think it might be reversible. Let's just see. Because there is disc art, it is reversible. So on the inside, you even have this as a choice if you want that artwork. So there's a lot of choices. And we love that. We love that. You know, they are really doing the best they can to appeal to the collector market, and I think it's brilliant. I think it's brilliant. So, if you've seen this, you've either seen it as Heartland of Darkness or Blood Church, let me know in the comments is this good? I'll be watching this to review shortly. So, there you go, 1992. Now, I bought something, I went to Best Buy today just to sort of shop around. I had to be uh, run a few other errands, and we were right by there, so I just stopped anyway and picked up something. And randomly, it's also from 1992. Very different movie, though. We're talking about the Criterion 4K release of Malcolm X. <laughs> it's a very different movie. It was a quite, a quite a quirky year and definitely not shot on video. This is a beautiful, beautiful film, and this is a beautiful release. This might be... I could um, I could see an argument for this being Spike Lee's very best film of all time as Denzel Washington. And this is a Criterion release. In, it's a 4K, but this is more of one of their like traditional releases in a slipbox. And it's so funny because it's still a beautiful release. It really is. But this slipbox, I'm so spoiled by like Second Sight and Arrow Video. This feels like a pretty cheap slipbox here to me compared to what they do for basically the same money because the arrow sale is going on right now and the the, the movie is still $35 so but it is a 4k and I've heard that it is gorgeous so let's take a quick look at it this is a digi pack on the inside I like this artwork it's pretty nice very fitting of the film honestly and then here are the discs. It's a three-disc set. There's a 4K, a Blu-ray, and then bonus features disc. There's a little bit of artwork on the inside also. So I'll pop these discs out so you can see it. If you guys have picked this up and watched it already, it's been out for, I don't know, for a couple of weeks, I think. Let me know what you thought of it. There. 
and we have the inside artworks. So, once again, another very beautiful release. This has a ton of extras, and while I am excited for the movie, because it is a great movie, when it comes to Criterions, when they do a stacked release, and most of their releases are, are good, either good to stacked, when it comes to bonus features, that's what I'm excited for. I'm really, really... I've seen this movie many times, and it's great. I really want to see the behind-the-scenes stuff here. There is also a pretty nice booklet here. This is not your perfect bound kind of uh, era video book, but I'm happy to say it's a book and not this fold-out thing that, that uh, Criterion often does because when it's that fold-out type of, you've got to fold it out like a poster to read it, I never look at them. This one has essays about the movie, and obviously it has screen caps, you know, still images, and the screen captures from the movie. This is a pretty epic book, actually. It's pretty big. It's a fairly thick book. So, all in all, a wonderful, wonderful release of a Hollywood classic. A very important film. If you haven't seen Malcolm X, what, what is wrong with you? You know, correct yourself and see this movie, because this is, like I said... I think it could be argued that this is Spike Lee's best movie. And again, a beautiful 4K release from Criterion. And I'll continue to complain about this one aspect of their 4K releases. I love how subtle, I hate like the bar across the top. This is 4K Ultra HD. And I hated the Blu-ray one too that said that. I don't want that on their releases. But they could put the Ultra HD logo on the spine or something because really when you buy these movies they have a sticker on the wrapper that just says 4k when you take that wrapper off it's gone gone that sticker could be applied to the wrong release accidentally because outside of that the only way you know is in really tiny print at the bottom on the back just be nice to have it represented a little bit more because the blu-ray release looks 100 percent identical to this one so you, you can mix them up if you're not careful anyway all that aside that that's a nitpick complaint for one of the best boutique movie studios in the world. They started it. They were really the first best high-end boutique, and they still really are one of the best out there. And I, again, I'm excited to watch this, have it in my collection. All right, so there you go. There's two movies from 1992. Very, very different choices. So let me know what you think in the comments. And uh, let's talk about physical media. Until next we meet, pull something cool off the shelf, share it with your friends and family. Remind them why physical media is the best way to watch films and TV at home. I'll see you guys on the next one.